Welcome back. We are working in Module 4 and we're all the way down to Section 7 where I'm going to show you how to create credit memos. You would use a credit memo anytime you wanted to do something like, for example, someone returns something and they want to keep a credit on their account. It could be like in our example, our customer owed us a little bit of money and we're going to go ahead and write that off. There's various reasons for creating credit memos, so let me show you how that's done in QuickBooks. Whether you're going to actually issue a refund to a customer who's already paid in full or issue a credit memo that stays on their account, you're going to do it the exact same way. You're going to use this refunds and credits button here. Before we do this though, I want to look at a quick report having to do with accounts receivable so that you can see that we do have monies sitting on our customer's account that we're going to want to credit in this particular exercise. I'm going to go up to reports on the menu and I'm going to come down to customers and receivables and I want to look at open invoices. Now we're going to look at all the reports later on in module 11 but right now this would be any invoices that have not been paid and I wanted to show you before we go on and do our credit memo that we do have these open invoices here. Now the one I want to show you is, if you remember back in Section 5, we talked about receiving payments. Our customer shorted us $0.04, cents, and so we should have an invoice where it says the customer owes $0.04. Cents. The reason we don't see anything here for Tom Allen is because this is only anything open as of December the 15th. If I go up and change my date to maybe the end of the month, for example, and then click to refresh the report, now you'll see there's Tom Allen and here's the one invoice where he owes us four cents. We're getting ready to create a credit memo and you will see that disappear once we do that. Let me flip back to the home screen and I'll show you how to actually create that credit memo. You're going to go here where it says refunds and credits and click. Then you're going to pull in your customer and your job. Now at this point, a lot of people think that it's going to pop up with that invoice where the customer owes four cents so we can check it off, but that's not the case because it doesn't know what we're trying to credit. So we'll see that window in a little bit. You're going to go ahead and make sure you have everything correct around the screen here. You want to change your date. Let's say that I'm going to credit this on January the 15th. Remember I also told you as far as the credit memo numbers that anything that's numbered in QuickBooks will start with number one, but you want to change it to some other number and then it will number sequentially. But here's the important part. We're going to go down to the item and decide what it is we'd like to credit. Now I want you to think about this. If you are refunding a customer for a physical inventory part, let's just say a chair for example, when you actually created the invoice to sell the chair, QuickBooks took that chair out of your inventory. If the person is returning the chair, then you'll want to put it back in your inventory. That means you need to pick that same chair from this list. That's really, really important as far as keeping inventory straight. In this case, all we're going to do is write off some bad debt, which was the four cents we talked about. Now they had bad debt already set up in this list as an other charge. We're going to be looking at items a little bit later in Module 6 and I'll show you how they set this up. But for now we're going to go ahead and choose it. We're going to say a quantity of one and we want to credit off four cents. It's really important as well that where this tax column is it says non-taxable because if it was set on tax then you would be actually crediting them more than four cents. And that's really all I want to do in this particular case. Now let's see if there's anything new up here on our tabs. We've got our next and previous and our find like we're familiar with. We've got our new option. You're already familiar with save and delete. You're familiar with create a copy and memorize so nothing new there. Mark is pending. You can print this if you need to for some reason. Let me go ahead and preview and just show you currently what it's going to look like. Notice it says credit memo right here and it does have all of the information that we had put on the credit memo. I'm going to go ahead and close that. You also have the ability to email this like we've talked about. 
you can attach a file, and then we'll talk about these two here in a second. Over under the formatting tab, you do have the ability to customize what the credit memo template looks like, and that's what these are going to allow you to do, as well as this one. There's your spell check. You know how to insert a line, delete a line, and copy a line at this point as well. And then there's some reports that you might run as far as credit memos are concerned. Let's go back to the main tab, and I want to mention these two. The top one says, use credit to give a refund. That's the one you would click on if you wanted to go ahead and zero out the invoice and give them a refund. Notice the bottom one is where you would go to use a credit to apply it to an invoice, which is what we're going to do. But let's say you never saw those and you went ahead and said save and close down at the bottom. It's going to pop up and ask you, do you want to keep this as a credit on their account, give them a refund, or apply it to an invoice. I'm going to choose apply it to an invoice and click OK. And here's where any invoices that are open appear. If it sees an exact match like it does here, it will automatically check it off. So make sure you've got the correct one chosen. All you have to do is click done at this point and it is now completely zeroed out. If I go back and pull up my open invoices again, you're going to see that Tom Allen is nowhere on this list because his invoice is totally paid. And that's what I wanted to show you as far as credit memos and refunds. Let's go ahead and move over into Section 8 and I will show you how to create statements at the end of the month to send out to your customers. Hey everyone, Ava here. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. Click over there to get the complete course for QuickBooks 2019. And click over there to watch the complete set of QuickBooks 2019 videos in this playlist. We'll see you next week with additional videos.